Welcome back to another edition of The Gentleman's Dead. Our first time live streaming this song, bitch. I didn't even know you turned it on. Did you? Yeah, it's on. We're, we're rolling, baby. <laughs> Fuck it, oh, let's do yeah. it. Live. <laughs> we got All right, Frankie. Do it live. We got Jeff. I am Sean. Welcome to The Gentleman's Den podcast. Hi there. <laughs> Fellas, hey how there. are we doing today? I feel re-energized. I just woke up from a nap. Yeah, nice power nap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got to take a little nappy nap every now and then. I wish. I'm not a big nap person. I, I really don't like to take naps. Usually I don't feel the greatest afterwards. It's got to be that perfect amount of time. Not too long to get in that deep sleep, but just a nice nice little catch up. On what? Rest, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, like napping because I know I'm not going to wake up till the next morning. <laughs> right. You shouldn't call it napping. That's to the point when you take a nap, your body, you basically you shut down and your body just passes the fuck out. Yeah. Like you're just done. And that's when but you call it like it's something cute. Like, oh, he took a nap. Nah, he's exhausted and passed the fuck out. The power nap. <laughs> till the next morning. Oh, how are you feeling this morning? I was rough. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you uh, you tied one on pretty hard last night, there, uh, brother. Yeah, I yeah, kept I, I kept leaving, trying to leave. I'm like, all right, bro, I'll see you tomorrow. Another shot, come on, let's do one more. One more shot out well, of Jameson. <laughs> and that's crazy. You were drinking like shot after shot of Jameson. Like, I know you're not a big Jameson guy. So. I hate whiskey. Yeah, I was I was pretty impressed. Well, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm. Impress myself. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then. We're going to turn over a new leaf. I am on this podcast. My mother listens to this. And her <laughs> first comment was, you swear a lot. <laughs> you going to try to clean it up? Yeah, Stop I'm not going to swear this swearing. entire fucking podcast. <laughs> Starting. What? Now. Uh, yeah, I ain't, right fucking I ain't now. changing shit. Sorry. Well, you guys go ahead. I'm going I'm to work hard at it. See what I can do. Hardly working. I Is bet that something that sh- could have been done before the podcast? We should we should have had no, like a bunch of shots <laughs> lined up every time you swear. Take a shot. Ooh, you I might swear, swear on purpose. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a lot of shit. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, call it what you want to call it. We're not alcoholics, sir. I don't go to meetings. I didn't say that. I don't have a problem drinking. I have a problem stopping. There's a big difference. <laughs> Stopping is my vice. Well, we go to the bar. We just start drinking and drinking and drinking. And I don't just drink going to drink. down. I don't. I don't like to just have like one or two. If I'm drinking, I'm drinking to get. That's why I don't up. really drink beer anymore. I used to drink. I was a beer connoisseur. A lot of beer. But now my gut just explodes, <laughs> and I feel like that that fucking thing from Total Recall is gonna come out. Quaid. <laughs> Get to the reactor. <laughs> just like, I can't do beer. It's too many calories. It makes me bloated. So, yeah. That, that just makes you sound old. Yeah, that and just the, went vod- there. the daddy's vodka gets it done. I don't know. Don't what to tell you. I don't know what I'm going to do. What I'm gonna do. <laughs> well, yeah, because you make 50-50-50s, which for anyone new listening, 50-50-50 is what you fill a glass with. Any size glass with 50% ice, ice 50%, 50% vodka, alcohol. Yeah, 50% whatever the hell you want. 50% mixer. Uh, your your glass looks very, very clear. Very light red tint. I added it. to it. <laughs> I chucked it. <laughs> I had no choice. I had to add more uh, mixer to it. There's too much vodka. I went probably about yeah, 60-40. So I had to chug some of it. Yeah, and you should have took the, the rest of my mixer out it. of that koozie before. Maybe I fucked up because I filled it. I think you knew what you were doing. Yeah, I, I think probably you did. Just <laughs> filled it up a little bit more, just just <laughs> just because you wanted to. Well, you gotta, you know, he's, he's got to have goals in life, and his goal is to ruin his liver. Fuck that liver, bro. As fast as possible. I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to live forever. I'm pretty sure you need I'm it. I'm going to live so. forever. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Fuck it. yeah. I love the Hoff. Hoff's big in Germany, bro. 
He's Huge got like number Huge one Germany. fucking hits over there. Huge. <laughs> you want to get a good laugh, just go ahead and watch uh, David Hasselhoff music videos. Yeah. You know, little Uga Chaga. <laughs> Hooked on a feeling. I remember when he came on the other day, and you're like, "This fucking better be that Hasselhoff version." Oh yeah, turn it off. Dude, he's fucking tandem riding a a slalom ski with an Eskimo down a mountain. <laughs> I mean, this Name is a better this video. is this is fucking gold here. I can't wait. Thriller, to Thriller, green screen. Fuck off, Hasselhoff. It's the fucking man, the myth, the legend. I cannot wait till we get a green screen. <laughs> I was all. Oh yeah. Remake that video a dozen times. <laughs> oh, I could have remade the Hasselhoff video of him trying to eat that cheeseburger on the floor <laughs> <laughs> last night. For <laughs> sure. Cheeseburger, please. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you were for, rare form. Yeah, it was fun. For sure. Wanted to indulge. The weekends are my time. Right. You know? Well, dude, I work you, during you the week. I don't like drink during the week. fucking morning during well, the week. sometimes. That's, that's rough. Yeah. It's a rough life, bro. You know, we're just surviving here, not living, just surviving. That's the truth. I tried to get deep with you last night. I was there with you, man. You know what I mean? (laughs) 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 I was super fucked up, and I was was like, I'm heading home, and you just wanted to go down that. I wanted to go. I stayed for like two hours to walk you down there. You helped me. You helped me through the path. I guided you, and then I left your ass there and said, see you later. And then I was alone with my thoughts. Peace. Deuces. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's a rough ride when I leave. Another hour home. I bet you, before I was out of your fucking parking lot, you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were uh, You you were starting to uh, turn the corner there when I left. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. in that emotional state. This you were so I needed angry, a friend dude. and Sean bailed. Didn't no, even say Frankie goodbye. tried getting left. out of here. Sean, I, Sean did not even say goodbye, I swear. He says, he's like, all right, I said later, guys. But he got up out of his chair, walked out the door, and I'm like, well, I'll be back. Did he leave? 20 minutes later, I'm like, oh, maybe that's a rough one. Maybe. Well, that's then you guys calling me. Yeah, did then you, you get pulled answer, over? Man. Well, someone got pulled over, and we were concerned about right, it. Right, right in front of the house. I was wasn't like, me. Maybe he was that Easy, Shaggy. Up. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's what it's, that's not what his voice sounds like. Wasn't People me. Don't know that. He well, no, he, he has a reg- like, no, he has a regular voice. Talks like a normal person. Yeah, didn't kinda. You, just didn't, sings. Didn't you ever see that Game Over Man movie or whatever it was? Mm. The one with the uh, guys from Workaholics. No, I. You, you know what, never watched that. You know, you know what it's on. <laughs> It's on my list on Netflix because I got like fucking 500 things I want to watch. But I always, as you could relate, watch the same fucking shit. Yeah. I just scroll through, add shit to my list for about three hours, and then I watch something I've seen a hundred times. Right. And then you just pass (laughs) out to that. Ah, fucking. Goddamn savages. I did watch uh, The Dark Crystal. I was a huge Dark Crystal fan as a kid. (laughs) The movie. So they made a series. I heard. I seen a that new series, so I watched that with the kids. They liked it. That's it's like, funny when you can share something, you know, that you enjoyed as a kid, and it comes back around, and you can watch it. Like the turtles, Ninja Turtles, bro. <laughs> the turtles is where it's at. So I watched the new Ninja Turtles with the kids, and god awful. Sorry, I'm out. Yeah, mm. the old ones though. Did they watch the old ones? Um, what kind of parenting are you doing over here? I don't know. I can't, I don't know if they've seen them. I don't remember. They should be on. It's hard, bro. They're getting to that age where they don't, you know, they don't want family time. They want to be on the Fortnite. Fortnite. They want to be. Headphones on. Headshots. Just wait. They're on Fortnite now. Another year. (coughs) They're going to be. No, it's my turn to go in the room. You stay out of here. (laughs) Bunch of crispy socks laying around. Socks off, Sean. It's all about that. Mm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Never ending joke. It'll never end. It won't. It, the it, never it, ending story. Oh, that movie was sh- so much good stuff. What? All what that good it? stuff. What was it? Well, how much good stuff? So much. So much? If you watch it again, it does not hold up. <laughs> no, it's horrible. 
Especially when he's riding that dog dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets the the shot clock fan damn fucking yeah! oh. That movie's awesome. How dare you guys? I would How say it's awesome. You. It's a good movie. It is. Some movies just don't hold up. You know, Terminator Two to this day is one of the best movies ever. But sequels that 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 holds up. We've talked about how there's other good sequels like. The, the, where the second one's actually as good as or better than the original. Doesn't happen T, often. No, T2. Yeah. Um, we went through it. The Empire was, was Strikes Back. Yeah. Um, honestly, I couldn't tell you one right now. Trying to fucking blink on everything. I don't think you did. And see, but the sequel was better than the original? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. There's not many. It's. I am excited to go see that Doctor Sleep. Yeah, Doctor Sleep movie. You're yeah, gonna, you're gonna be so disappointed, I think. <sighs> and yeah, but at least it's gonna be a cool concept of something that's redone in a different way. Which is cool because you you know I didn't even really think about it like what happened to the mom and the kid after they left. Right. And now it's like years later. Kind of like and like the Joker like when we did leave the movie theater we were like all right what happened to the mom and the kid. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, there, there's there's those storylines and stuff where you would have liked to have seen one more part in that movie where they showed them. But th- those are the cool spinoffs of, like, that. you could take so many Just spin-offs. be careful. There's no spoiler warnings on this. You can't be spoiling. That was already done. What, The Shining? No, huh? no, no. no. Our, our Joker spoiler, which you haven't checked out, then you could look up on YouTube. The Jeez. Gentleman's Den podcast. The Joker <laughs> review. There's no podcast. No word of the podcast. This just is, is a podcast, which is like a weird kind of concept. Like, do you put the name on there or do you just put the logo? I think you just put the name, The Gentleman's Den or whatever the brand is. I don't fan no vote. podcast. Fan vote. Fan vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying there's certain things like that. Like, you just put the name out there to where people are like, oh, I wonder what the name of that is for. Like, there's no... You don't put you don't put like a title under it, like it's you don't say a car name and then say automobile afterwards. You yeah. just fucking know. You just know it's a fucking car, bro. Right. It's a car it's or a, a truck. truck or a three hundred. It's a three hundred, man. It's a three hundred. I can't believe my fucking car. Oh, dude, you took a what? There was like a giant fucking piece of metal. It looked like um, like From that the steel eclipse? print. <laughs> Basically, it looked just it like <laughs> Brian O'Connor's <laughs> <laughs> diamond floor floor diamond mat plated that floor flew mat. out. It flew out on the expressway, and a semi hit it, and it flew up in the air. And I had cars like on both sides of me, behind me, couldn't stop. Fucking hit it, cracked the fucking bumper. First world problems, bro. Right? Well, yeah. At least I'm okay. That's kids all. Kids that with no clean water and shoes, but you know, hey, it's three hundred got scratched. It's all. <laughs> It's also driving in fucking Chicago traffic, too. Dude, the fucking worst. Swear. And I mean, I might have been doing a little bit over the speed limit. A little. Like, Let's be honest. At least now they bumped it to 70. I mean, 65 just wasn't cutting it. No? I feel like they should do like a 90 mile an hour lane. In case you're fucking <laughs> running late. Yeah, that's Everyone knows you just stay in this lane to do 90. Yeah. If not, get the fuck out the way. Right. Super horrible idea. The I got shit to do lane. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be like the I got a Toyota Supra lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, you right. can just open her up. Everyone well, it's supposed to I mean, your slow ass is supposed to be in the right lane. If you're going right. slow, that's right. how it's supposed to be. And I mean, if you want to. People wanna, just don't follow the rules. No. There's, there's rules of the road. There's rules. unwritten, <laughs> unwritten book of the road. Get the fuck over. The unwritten. This rule is my. Of the this road. is the fast lane. Okay, life in the fast lane. I'm here, bro. You see me tailgating your ass? I move the fuck over. <laughs> and that's like a thing too, though. It's like, all right. I, I hate swore. when people are like looking at you, like, what the fuck? Like, go around me. No, just get the fuck out the way. Just move move over if someone's on your ass because you're only doing the speed limit. Right. There's no etiquette. I'm doing right. I'm doing exactly the speed limit right here in the There's left no lane. There's no etiquette. People are in, they're in a hurry. Everyone's in a fucking hurry. 
Yeah. Unless they have a Tesla, and then they put that bitch on auto drive and take a nap. I don't think oh. that happens. I pass those motherfuckers doing like 45 all the time on the expressway. I look over. You don't like, think yeah, what it is? License plate say. 35k. Huh? <laughs> you don't think that happens? That's how Teslas are going for now. 500 videos of people snoring in their <laughs> Teslas. Every Tesla always has like some jerk you know, off license yeah. plate. It's vanity plate. No problem. gas. <laughs> Go green or some. It's always anytime you see Mother a Tesla. Mother Earth. Yeah. Hey, I, I mean, really wanted Mother Earth, but it wouldn't. The letters, there's I, too many letters. I feel like everyone thought when they were younger, at like 16, of vanity plates and what they would put on it. Oh hell yeah! You know what I mean. I wanted to get Batmobile. Said enough letters. Bat M O B L. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hello. You did have a badass integral with Lamborghini doors oh, that yeah, looked like a Batmobile. Back in the Fast and Furious days. Right? Teaser alert. <laughs> too fast. Too Slammed to the oh, yeah. inch off the ground. That movie came out right in my wheelhouse. You know, I was in high school. What were you, like 17 or 18? Yeah. If I was in high school. Unless I was... <laughs> no, he was 26. Well, shit, you could have been 15 senior. then. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember, though. I thought it was, yeah, later when you yeah. were graduating. No, I had my license already. See, so I was that was the problem. I was at least 16. My no. <sighs> I math. I math. <laughs> Very well, my dad. Jesus. Fucking Christ, guys. So I had a funny story the other day. <laughs> My lady, we're laying in bed, and her phone goes off. I'm like, what the fuck is that? She's like, oh, that's my motivational text message. What? So she's like going for it, and she's like, I can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> so that fucking shit oh, worked. A motivational text message. She couldn't reach it. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> that shit you can't have work. the motivation to get to your motivational text. You're not failing. For you. You're failing right there. Delete that app right there. Not working. <laughs> worthless for app. You. <laughs> that app is fucking worthless. It was just so funny. She was so close. Uh, I'm like, come on, I'm rooting for. Her. She, I wah, can't reach wah, it. Wah. Oh, fuck it. Good times. It's too far. Too far. It's kind of like when the remote falls off the bed and it's on, you know, behind the bed, and you're stuck watching a shitty movie. I love shitty movies. Yeah, it's, that's dark in Jeff's wheelhouse. Yeah, but not like Pride and Prejudice or some shit like that. What I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He'd still watch it. You know, dude, I hate. He watches chick flicks, just just to watch them. I like he, some chick flicks. Yeah. He likes the story. They're comedies, like comedy, <laughs> rom com. Who oh doesn't like God. a good rom com? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. Crazy stupid love. That movie Wait, you didn't dope. you didn't like the movie My Best Friend's Girl? She's out of my league. She's out That's of my league. That's a rom com. That's a rom com. Every movie's got a love story. In Anything it. with Not Kathleen, true. Uh, yeah. Kathleen Heigl in it. Name me a movie that doesn't have a love story. Uh Green Hell. <laughs> Green Hell. What the fuck is or that? Or Green Inferno. <laughs> uh again, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's the movie where the people were in the Peace Corps. And then they got snatched by cannibals and eaten. Yeah, was there two people that loved each other that were eaten? No, there's no love in that movie. No love, just a lot of fucking people eating lot, people. A lot, lot of fucking murder and death. No, those people <clears throat> love those people love to eat. I was gonna say that those people love to eat. Yeah, so they're they're there's a love story. They love to get that flesh. Hell, <laughs> see that's that's one of those this? weird fucking movies that you watching. I don't know. I was just saying, there's no fucking movies that don't have a love story. And Dude, shit. I woke up to that got a movie. Bullshit love story. I woke up to that movie one day before I had to go to work, and I was at work, and they're like, I forgot who one of the guys I work with was just like, "Dude, uh, you all right?" <laughs> I go, "Yeah, man. I just woke up to a dude getting fucking his eyeballs taken out while he was alive and shit." He's like, "What?" Like, yeah, I woke up to a really fucked up movie. It's a power movie. Was it a dream? You sure? No, it's, it's a powerful a, it's dream. A I wonder. Movie. I wonder what Jeff was dreaming about last night. I don't know. Some wild shit. The voting wasn't closed yet. I don't know. <laughs> I was like half I was still drunk, half asleep. Your alarm My alarms for work were going off. <laughs> Jesus. 
My lady's like, I turned off your alarm. I'm like, no, don't. There's the voting still open. <laughs> <laughs> the polls. <laughs> She's like, turn your alarm off. I was like, I did as it's going off. <laughs> That's a bro. I mean, when you're home, you can get that fucked up, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm here, bro. It's my house. Right. It's you my just, den. You could just fucking go upstairs, close your fucking eyes, and you know that there's a porcelain toilet just five feet away. I haven't puked in a while. Then you're not doing that, it right. I don't get that uh, messed up anymore. I feel like, do you remember there used to be the times we would go out and we would just be like, I'm going to drink till I fucking puke tonight. And then we would just keep drinking afterwards. Hell yeah. Jaeger bombs. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Fucking Jaeger bombs, bro. That might be the worst coming back up. Is there anything worse puking out than a Jaeger bomb? Uh, lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> you get fucked up on lettuce? The worst thing to puke is lettuce. I don't care what anybody says. Why lettuce? Yeah. Because it wilts in your stomach and then sticks to the roof of your mouth on the way out. Oh. So you have to, like, you, you, don't, you know when you... Good thing I don't eat lettuce. Yeah, right. That sounds like <laughs> it's horrible. Ah, not not a fan. I do I do enjoy a s- small salad before my steak and a glass of milk. Oh, I love fucking milk. Two yeah. percent, not Wait, that other two bullshit. Two percent. <laughs> you could be you shit. could be drinking whole milk if you wanted to. You think so? You really? Why you drink two percent? Because you think you're fat. Mm, just trying to keep, you know. Uh, not a fan of whole milk. I feel like I gotta chew that shit now. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. I love that whole milk. I, I right from the udder. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ, man. From the, <laughs> from the pan to the table. No. That's how it goes around here. Ugh. Did you see that um, Wall Street Journal um, post that they had? What was in their paper? The 20, the 20 drunkest. Cities in oh, the United yeah. States. Oh yeah, in Wisconsin. Twelve had. of them. <laughs> Wisconsin had most twelve of them. out of the twenty. They're like, all right, guys, we can't make it a top ten because it's all Wisconsin. We got to go to top twenty <laughs> top so we 20. can put some other places here. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. that's fucking hilarious. Good times. See, we're fucking professionals around here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, well, there ain't jack shit to do around here. No. Fuck it. Let's drink. Well, even like you got the the Dells and stuff. I mean, who doesn't get fucked up and then go down the water slides? Right. <laughs> you just want to just go down the water slide sober, then get yeah, it. if you want to be sober and puke. Not the wave pool, though. I keep my drunk ass out of the wave pool. Because <laughs> you ain't trying to drown. <laughs> no. <laughs> that shit will fuck you up. Even sober, it's hard. I to... went too far the one time, and I was, like, panicking. <laughs> I, I, like, I can't touch, and the waves are just coming in. <laughs> Pounded your ass over and over. Every time you try to come up for a breath, it's yeah. like fucking puts you right back under. I actually saved someone in one of those wave pools once. Why? Because they were smaller than you. You Tell were standing more. still. So <laughs> what? Because you're bigger than everybody. <laughs> yeah. So no, it, no, it's because he was a six eight motherfucker, and I lifted him up to, from drowning. Maybe that's it. No, what happened was we were like. We used to do band trips in grade school. In you were in band? Our, were you at a camp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I stuck a flute in my pussy, too. <laughs> so let's, let's just get the fucking jokes out. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm just saying, maybe you got I, mad. You, know, here, band camp. you guys keep going. I'll just sit back. <laughs> we want to hear the rest of the story. Yeah, continue. This I just didn't know you were in band. This uh, is what we do. Bust each other's balls. I'm learning more about one of my best friends. He's, got, he's moving in. There you go. Too close. You're too close. Continue. You save someone in the wave pool. Yep. End of story. That's it. He saved his fucking life, guys. All you listeners out there, Sean's a fucking hero. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's a fucking hero because he saved someone's life from drowning. I did. Do you guys want to wanna hear that story? Do you want to tell me more than just he saved his life? <laughs> there, there, there's... <laughs> Interesting facts. I want to hear. I Sean to finish his fucking story. So first. do I. But he's, come on, he's look at him. He's, I'm good. He's yeah, sensitive see. tonight. We're good. That he's movie like, we watched proceed. really killed his mood. Fast and the Furious. He's like, show you how to drive, motherfucker. Get that stick shift, bro. I miss driving stick. 
Yeah. Uh, Typically, I do all day, but it's no, not you, the same. Yeah. You miss driving five gears. Driving at 18 speed. fucking speed. Yeah, you want to just bang gears, though, and you want to be a DK and drift king around your neighborhood. <laughs> No one Find a nice be. roundabout. There's one down the street that's abandoned. There's no houses there. We could just, you know. Oh yeah, DK. Yeah, with what? The Supra. The, van. <laughs> the Supra. Yeah, that one right there. <laughs> that's that's as close as Jeff could get to a Stop Supra. Stop fucking up the props. I can't. Yeah. And even that, you can't. That was reach. a lot cheaper than a real one. Even that super is out of your reach. <laughs> <laughs> no. Take the strong hand. <laughs> oh fuck! So we're still waiting, Sean. If you haven't realized, we want you to tell the story. Our listeners want you to tell the story. I'm good. I can't. They're fucking ready. Look at them. They're primed. Sean, 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 Sean. Tell me. We were in the wave pool. The kid got. Cracked right in the mouth with fucking just the ridiculous amount of water. It was the big, it was the big Kahuna is what the name of the fucking oh, wave pool fuck. was. Oh yeah, you don't fuck around in the and big Kahuna. He what it was was we were like standing just where when you jump and the wave would hit you and it push you back. Mm-hmm. Well, he went to jump and. <laughs> did time it right. Got <laughs> <laughs> a mouthful. <laughs> so I gra- I fucking literally snatched him by the his fucking swim trunks, just right out at the jock. <laughs> I, I, dude, I was, that's the only thing I could grab because <laughs> he was fucking under. Grab it, and I fucking picked him up like wedgie style and threw him up onto the edge. <laughs> he just starts puking, fucking <laughs> piss. Water out of his mouth from the oh, fucking god. That's the worst. God god you know no one's getting pool. out of the pool. Everyone's wasted. They're just like that. That water is fucking at least seventy percent piss. One of the greatest comedy sketches of all time was the uh, Jamie Kennedy experience, and he's uh, it's like one of those undercover shows. Yeah, and he's the lifeguard, and everyone's having a good time <laughs> in the pool. And he comes on to the loudspeaker and he's like, everyone needs to get out of the pool. The lifeguard needs to take a bathroom break. <laughs> so everyone clears the pool <laughs> and they're in. watching and he gets into the water, stands in the middle of the pool, <laughs> climbs back up to the lifeguard tower and says, the pool is now back open. <laughs> Did a bunch of people just jump right in? Everyone's looking like, what the fuck? I was dying. We'll post it. Don't you worry. <laughs> Sean will. Sean will post it. Yes. <laughs> Sean's the man of action. If you need anything done, Sean will get it done. He might tell you to fuck off first, but then he'll do it. He's a doer. He's a doer. Are you a doer? In our audience, are you guys doers? Let I'm me hear doer. you say it. Is that a question? Dude, there's Is no one here. I'm a doer. I'm a doer. That's a great movie, Pain and Gain. Pain and Gain, man. The Rock's role in Pain and Gain is fucking hilarious. Yeah. I don't want to do that. It's <laughs> got like that fucking it was getting too smoky. skateboard. It was getting too smoky inside, so I had to go outside. <laughs> Especially when he starts <laughs> doing fucking coke. Yeah, just right behind you here. I'm just, <laughs> oh, yeah. Who wants to? All right. Here's your pamphlets. <laughs> you touch it, I'll fucking rip your head off. He's, Take it easy. Take it easy, pal. But I, I had I had a groper, honey. I, she was the hostage. It's a it's it's such a well written movie. It, so that, it's it's a true story. A true story. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. So the story kind of wrote itself. <laughs> but the way that they pro- portrayed it was fucking pretty funny. Yeah, you can tell it was a Michael Bay movie with the uh, the over the, the circle shots. Yeah, and it constantly What's goes like? from day to night in a matter of fifteen minutes. Yeah, it's like that movie took six months. It was a showing of six months, but really it was only three weeks. Fuck yeah, bro. No, actually they said they tortured him for like a lot of fucking diet, a lot of days. Don't do it. Dude, those tacos days. fuck days. coming up to me. A lot of days. Is that what days, you son. Days on days. Is that what you just said? A lot of days. I've been working eight days a week. I don't even know what the fuck the day is. Big Sean. 
you know exactly what the day is. The day? The day. The day. The day. The day. The day is Saturday. So I also have a, I saved a kid from drowning. He actually wrote uh, in high school, you had to write a story about your heroes, and he wrote his, his whole paper was on me. Because you were his I'll fucking hero. Because you back. saved his fucking life, bro. I had to. Well, we used to, they have an aquan up here, which is like a, it's a ski show where all the skiers line up, and we used to ride our bikes off of it. <laughs> like you, you naturally do as naturally, a Naturally. You know, you know, growing up in Wisconsin, man. you just, you know, ride your bike off of piers and shit. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's normal. So he rode his bike off a pier, and we're all just sitting there, and he ain't coming up. <laughs> so I fucking dove my ass in. Like a goddamn savage. And his pant leg, something was stuck. I don't know if it was to the chain. I don't know, his leg was tangled in his bike so he couldn't swim. I thought it was twisted in the frame. Couldn't I get got it him out. out. Goddamn him to hero. Safety. Did you get the bike out too? Yeah. I <laughs> dove down. Well, yeah, you had to. So you drove your bike off the pier. You like came up, you know, got some air. And then you'd have to swim down and Drab bring your, your bike. bike. Yeah, Yeah, we did that too. My bike was rusted as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I always, you know, you, I mean, you always go to grab it by the hand grip, and the hand grip comes off in your hand. So then you're just right. Like, then you can't. You got to hold on to the hand grip because you can't leave that down there. So shout out to Neil. I love you, bro. Glad you're alive. Still breathing. Good for you, Neil. Every time he sees you at the bar, he buys you a drink. That's the least he can do, right? Yeah, he has to. You know what I mean? Save my fucking life. Let me get you a shot and a beer. I Great mean, story. that's just that's just the gentleman way. Highlight of my say. life. That's where you peaked. That's when I peaked. It was all downhill after that. Did my good deed. You save a life, and then it just circles the fucking bowl. It's over, bro. You just get sloppy in your old age. So is my chemical romance really coming back? I don't know, McRib? That's what I'm saying. It's weird that they were announced at the same time. So I'm confused. McRib is back. Is My Chemical Romance coming back? That's what I, I heard. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. But I heard the McRib is here. So, so that I'm means confused. So is McRib My Chemical Romance is back? Or are they really coming back? I don't know. What if they just come out for one album during uh, the McRib season and then wait till next year? Because I know the lead singer, Joe Rogan's cousin, Gerard Way, uh, is been doing movies and shit. He's been directing Ooh. like a shitload of movies. So it's yeah. Fuck. fuck <laughs> I seen man. a I seen a great fucking meme. Do you remember one of the worst movies of all time? Fucking Spider Man Three. And yeah. it's got uh, what the hell's his name? Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. Remember when he got all goth? <laughs> 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 remember he had his hair like nice yeah. and neat, and then it like. So he's look <laughs> he's looking in his reflection and then something said, My chemical romance is back oh. and he fucking brushed his hair down <laughs> and started dancing in the streets. Jesus. <laughs> oh Brains are fucking great, dude. I'd laugh so hard. They seriously could like make your day. Like you could see a meme and just crack up and be in a shitty mood and it just changes it. And it's not like, you know, if you watch a comedy special and you know you know where the shit came from like this guy said this but like a meme who knows who fucking made it who, who a who's 10 year old gene, kid right you know sitting Put in that together. basement made this badass badass meme that millions of people are texting back and forth you know 100%. what i mean you're pretty good your meme game is pretty good Not strong strong meme game some badass memes with sean's brother out there <laughs> 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 Those ones are pretty fucking good. That was a good Actually, picture. Actually, yeah, you did do some fucking bangers out there. For oh, sure. the snowstorm one was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. We'll have to post those. Yeah. So people can we'll have to make some ones. more. Yeah. I haven't made a meme in a while. We'll get it, though. We'll get it going. It's because you're not allowed any bathroom time by yourself. You can't. Got fingers coming through the door. Like Dominic Toretto. I live my life one toilet at a time. <laughs> For those 30 minutes or less, I'm free. 
Jesus. See, it's hard when you got kids. All you want to do is have an escape. So I sit on the toilet until I have those red marks above my knees from my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> and my feet are tingling. And I know once I stand up, I'm only going to be able to take like two <laughs> steps before I can't walk anymore. And I have to stop till the tingling goes away. Oh, fuck. But I can't even do that. I'm sitting there, you know, shitting on the toilet. And my daughter's like drawing pictures sliding them under the door daddy <laughs> look at this one it you you it got you. a big head <laughs> <laughs> oh oh yeah that oh, one's good shit. draw me another one downstairs <laughs> go away this is daddy's time i'll draw a picture with you in a minute and you know you're just watching super videos while you're in there super video after super video no there's lots of stuff I I uh I go through motivational things. Yeah, do you get motivational texts? I heard that's a thing now. <laughs> What's up with that squatty potty? That'd be texts. How much does a squatty sure. potty cost? A what? A squatty, a squatty potty. Uh like 30 or 40 bucks. See why? You know what I use my daughter's stool to push out your stool? Yes. Look at that. Just put it right there. I don't really notice a difference, I got to be honest. <laughs> Are I you don't. saying so your your legs are higher? And yes, elevated? so it's like supposed to the squatty potty is like supposed to be the natural way to poop, like squatting in the woods. So it just brings your like knees up higher. Okay. So you shit all over and your it's heels. It's supposed to align your your bunghole, and so it just pa shoots out. Well, yeah, it slides down the fireman's <laughs> pole, but. Supposedly, oh. just a millionaire because he bought he made fucking squatty potty. Dude's rolling. See, those people that are rich as fuck off ideas like that. Do you tell people? Like, yeah, I invented the fucking well, squatty potty. You're the idea, man. The only difference between you and them is they actually went out and did their thing. I bet that they got someone to do it for them. They well, were like, I'm going to hire this guy. What's crazy is there's already, like, okay, my daughter, so she can, like, see the mirror when she's, like, brushing her teeth or whatever. She uses, like, a little stool. I mean, that's right. all you have to use, and it's like five bucks. But this guy's like, I'm just going to make a squatty potty and, and you, say it's just for this 20 and bucks. charge 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Well, you got to realize, too, it slides on the side to your toilet. See, cause say, now it's got you convenience. Don't have to out of the way. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a, a space saver, as, as well as <laughs> a poop. Improver. It's a, it's a shit enhancer. And it's also enhance. 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 It's also the paint starts ergonomic ergonomically designed for you to poop without pinching your fucking intestine. I don't notice a difference. I gotta be well, honest. Well it's because you don't have the right one. That's that's what it is. Maybe. Maybe I need it to you just go don't down the, the right sides. One. Yeah. Just give it a little you know? It's it's probably got a different angle. Of the dangle, you know what I'm saying? Sure. What do you think, Sean? I think you're, but it 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 depends on the person, to be honest with you, because <laughs> not every person is the same. Have you tried one? The squatty body? No. Yeah. Frankie, obviously not. No, I didn't even know what it was. So. Yeah, I got one. I the commercial's great. The unicorn shitting out uh, rainbows. Charlie. Oh. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You guys made me sit through that shit yesterday. Bro, that's when fucking YouTube Fuck my kidney videos. <laughs> oh, you stole my fucking kidney. You took my fucking kidney. YouTube Come is on, YouTube. Charlie. Yeah, we talked about that. YouTube is just commercialized. Right. There's no like random crazy weird salad finger. Whoa. Oh God! Videos salad anymore. fingers and that other fucking crazy squirrel. I don't. What the fuck was he called? I don't even remember, bro. It's weird. I was pretty fucked up. If you didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. Come on, let's do another shot. Up in the pour the Jameson in the cup. In the cup. Now one for you, and one for you, and one for you. I want to see that fucking uh, Ford vs Ferrari movie. Looks pretty dope. It does look good. I want to see that. I want to see uh, Zombie Land 2. Double tap. I want to see that uh, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. 
with uh, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Looks fucking pretty intense. Looks good. Yeah, you, I grew up on Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Do they have any shows like that anymore? No. Like kids positive shit it. for kids? No. Kids yeah, watch it. Sesame Street still and all that shit. Yeah, but it, th- there's so the much other stuff. Shit. I guess there's just too much now. Yeah. It's like Mr. Rogers and Sesame Street was like, you know, the only jam on. Jam on it. You could, Apache. It, it was... It, it was speaking of Apache. His feet is really Apache. I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's Apache. pissing me off. Apache McGee. <sighs> it's the uh, Walmart connection. It might be. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't. Just, the video for YouTube's gonna look like dog shit. Yeah. Whatever. I look like dog shit anyway. So, so. Do we, yeah. I'm like <laughs> half asleep. Hey, babe. I just woke up from my power nap. I'm fucking ready to go. <laughs> That's your shape for BMW. Woo, woo. Can't wait. Ford. Um, what can't you wait for? Ford versus Ferrari. Drop shot. <clears throat> Speaking of Jamie Kennedy, here you go. P and Pools. Ah, uh, <laughs> P and Pools. Mine says too. This empty. We had these while we were on vacation drinking in pools. And everyone was like, oh, Jesus. You see those guys? They fucking pee in pools. They're peeing right now. Right now, I know it. He's <laughs> looking at me in my eyes. <laughs> you saw how he was walking and Son then he just stopped bitch. walking? He's peeing. You can always spot a peer. Oh, my God. Everyone, everyone's moving. Everyone's fucking, you know, standing around, flashing. <laughs> That's what they do on vacation. Just, yeah. Yeah, people are well, you see, so You know the activity in a pool, right? There's constant movement. and You see someone just standing there? You know they're peeing. They're peeing. No one's moving. No one just stands still in the water. Right? That's how I shit. I stand still in the water. You poop in pools? <laughs> poop in pools? Snicker bars coming up. Oh, Henry. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I want to say, though? I just want to give a shout out to Z Money Niner. Oh. Z, Z Money, Money Niner, Niner is a cool fucking dude. Love that guy. Right? Oh, Jesus. I'm just saying, bro. My meme he, dream. Yeah, it's funny that we were just talking about his meme, him being the meme master. No, it's funny that he, him, and I are the only followers we got on this thing, and it's your goddamn idea, and you still haven't gone on Mixer to follow it. I don't know what Mixer. Yeah, is. I'm a little no, busy at the moment, though. <laughs> it's not the <laughs> fucking point, man. Will you teach me the technology? Teach me I'm gonna the ways. fucking beat you to death with a brick. Is what I'm gonna do. See it in your that's brain. The, that's back in the stone. Yeah, the negative. Look down at your wrist. You got your phone in your hand. See yeah. What that well, because I'm talking to the person telling us our lag, our fucking feet is super laggy, and I'm trying to laggy. fucking fix it. Yeah, but we can't uh, skimp out on the people who listen to this audio. I agree with you. Two hundred percent. Fuck it. Is that enough? <laughs> Dude, stop doing that in the microphone. I can't help it. It just it's a spasm. I could give you my card if you want to see it. Look how close he is again. (laughs) I'm leaning on the table. I'm trying to get comfortable. It's like a tractor beam. It's like sucks him right. See? If it if it's dick shaped and black, Frankie's going all in on it. I'm putting it on my lips. I just want my lips on it. Mm. These big DSLs right here. Uh, Big bottom lip. You see all my Thorita. Comes yeah. from his bottom lip. I mean, it happens. It's okay. <clears throat> you know what else? Fuck off. How about that? Nah. You guys got any cool stories? What's up, man? Yeah, I got that one. Ooh, I got a cool story. I just wanted to throw this out there because I thought it was kind of I thought, cool. uh, what just happened? You want to know a story? I said, you got any cool head. stories? Sean goes, yeah, I got one. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, I want to talk about this. All right, let's hear it, Sean. I'm sorry. No, I cut go you ahead, off. dickhead. Let's get you going. <laughs> well, I saw something that was real sweet in the world. There was two ladies that were carrying a, 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 a wagon and had a little kid in there. And as the cars were going past the road, she had these little balloons and they were yanked out of her hand. But it's very cold, so they didn't fly away. They just kind of bounced across the road. And as I was driving past and away in my rear view mirror, I'm like, what kind of people are they going to be? Are they just going to say, sorry, kid, you popped? Fuck off, balloons are gone. Or the or type they, of person who just drives by and doesn't help pick them up. Yeah, like an asshole. What do you mean? I'm doing like 50 down the road. 
Yeah. And I, I witnessed this, and these were the type of people that made this little kid happy and ran across traffic. To catch, to you know, track down these fucking balloons and bring them back to that little kid. Those people right there are heroes. I mean, I'm sitting next to two heroes right here. You guys save lives, but those people, they're heroes. I'm sorry, I just saw something good and it popped in my head when you asked. That is now, good. I, I, I still hear don't you. understand what happened. Someone, there's balloons. What do you mean? Who, I explained. They, it. Someone helped them. They're someone the, helped. Pick no, them up. they went and got them for their own child. Frankie, Instead of just saying they're gone. I, I really think your memory is like our video feed right now. It's super laggy. I feel like that was pretty spot on. Went, so no. they saw random balloons. Whose balloons were they? They were the little kid's balloon in the wagon. They were just pulling the wagon on so the someone, sidewalk someone down the road. Someone is pulling a wagon and you're doing 55. That's the speed limit. I said 50. On a wagon road? <laughs> no, this is down the highway. <laughs> on a wagon Who's road. got a wagon on the highway? Uh, the people dragging the kid in it in the fucking sidewalk. They have a kid in a wagon. Yeah, and they're pulling. On the side of a highway. I guess you would call it a highway. It's four lanes. Okay. It'd be Rollins. It's got to be your wagon. Yeah. <laughs> your balloons. <laughs> okay, your so balloon. they were they were their balloons. This, is, this isn't that hard of a story. Tell it again. Clear <laughs> this time. There's two women... And they're pulling a wagon with a child in it. The child has balloons in the child's hand. Okay. The wind from cars flying by pulls the balloons out of the child's hands and goes into traffic across the road, a four lane, the highway. Yeah. At first, as I'm pulling up past, I see the kid crying. <laughs> and they're like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm thinking, are these the type of people that are going to say, you're popped, kid. Balloons are gone. Yeah. It's just balloons. Right. They were already losing its helium because it was so cold, and they were, that's why they didn't fly away. And you know what? These people went the extra mile across the highway. They left the baby there while they there went and got There was two him? of them. You just said they went across the All highway. All right. I'm sorry. You're right. I misspoke. One of them ran across the highway God, I hope while the other one I stayed there with the child. I hope story is better than this one. I hope so, too. <laughs> I fucking tip my hat to those people. There we go. Great, great story. Well, for I tip my hat. Shut to the, the fuck up and let Sean talk. I tip my hat to the one who got the balloon. The other one. The other one, not so much. And first of all, if they were real parents, you would have tied that balloon around the kid's wrist in a goddamn knot. Hundred percent in a knot. Yes. Then what? It ain't coming <laughs> off. <laughs> you gotta go home and cut it off with some scissors. At least tie it to the wagon. Shit. Yeah. Something. See? Now you're learning. <laughs> I'm just preparing you for parenthood. All right, Sean, go. Please save God us. be better. Save us from this. No, what I was going to say was... Balloon fiasco. So uh, an Instagram influencer, which just means a jerk off with a bunch of fucking followers, went on Instagram and said that the school shouldn't teach history... World War II history anymore because it's very depressing. <laughs> what? It makes people depressed talking about World War II, so yeah. they shouldn't teach it anymore. Well, and that statement right there is a hundred percent what's wrong with America yes. right now because you learn history to not have it repeat itself. Right to know that there was other people that were dumb and fucked up, and and thousands lost their lives for nothing. Yeah. Well, you want to I talk about depression. I, I asked the question, well, how do German kids feel about it when they <laughs> learn about World War II? <laughs> what happened between 1942 I, and... Uh, we don't... Not that we, we were no, on vacation. We're just going to skip. <laughs> we're going to skip World War II, not the whole country Just like 30 vacation. pages ripped out of their textbook. Hey. Just, why does it go from 170 to 200? Yeah, we don't talk about that. Those are the dark years. <laughs> nope. No one was here. We all went on vacation. And we all had fun time. Such a <laughs> fun time. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was. I was going to say. Uh, the man. German accent has got to be the most the, the angriest <laughs> of all time. Yeah, you know, it, 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 there's really no sex, sexy way to Could you speak imagine? in German. Oh, God. Like, you know, sex with the German? Spanish is the language of love. Is it? it I thought it, French it was. Fran oui, oui. No, that's the prepare. the language of Cowardice menage and menage. Hey. 
Monica. Sacré <rire> bien. Eat my fries. <rire> Oh fuck! But no, you know, it, uh, that one statement just pissed me off. Why? Oh, I don't want to learn history because it's depressing. You know what else is depressing? Your fucking haircut, kid. Fix that fucking head. Fix it. You know what else is depressing? That there's no fucking true men left in this. F- if for the future. No, it's over. I Ladies. better get my pompadour. You know, get my pompadour haircut and fucking. Hey man, ten years ago I used to wear a pompadour. I don't think you did. I did. An eyeliner, too. Yeah. Eyeliner. I had a pompadour. <laughs> I had it all going. You Studded a, belt. You had a girlfriend that made you throw a mesh shirt on and hold a bass guitar. Oh. Bass guitar. <laughs> hey, bro, whatever, whatever gets those back rubs and cokes, I'll wear a mesh shirt if I have to. I don't even think she was giving you the back rubs and cokes. I think it was just giving you the fucking... Oh, Jesus. I don't even know what that means. Exactly. What noise is that? It was right. it was the noise that Frankie made when she was sucking that sh- when he was sucking that strap on. <laughs> <laughs> is, is the guy lighter running? Is my eye lighter running? What extremes would you go to for some fucking? I wouldn't wear back eyeliner. rubs and cokes. I wouldn't wear eyeliner. No. No. Some chick told you to put eyeliner on. She's gonna blow you. You wouldn't do it. No. Fucking liar. You're a goddamn fucking liar. No, I'm not. All right. She would have blown you anyway. <laughs> she would have blown you anyway. <laughs> if she really loves you. Buy her McDonald's. <laughs> she'll give you a Hummer. I don't know if that's how it works. I think she was trying Dollar to change you. She was one of those. She's like, this guy's I'm going to fix him. I'm going to fix him. I'm going to fix him. Oh, babe. All his flaws. His babe. eyes need darkening. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. My eyes are dark as fuck. I don't ever take these sunglasses off. The sun hasn't hit around my eyes. I'm surprised, you know, my chemical romance is back that you didn't bust out the guy liner. And the How do you belt. know I don't have it on, bro? The studded belt, yeah. How do you know? I don't. You How got do the you sunglasses know? on How inside. Do you know? How about you don't know? when uh, Nick had the stripper over when it, for his going away party and she hit him with the studded belt oh, so yeah. hard? Oh, God. <laughs> that was my studded belt. I don't know. I don't even know how he it got off. He had those pyramids. He had the pyramids yes. of Giza across his All back. All across his back and his ass. <laughs> she beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, I don't. That's not enjoyable. Made me laugh. I want to be disciplined, but just a little bit. Not that much. Not that much. I wasn't that bad of a boy. <laughs> and then she poured You're candle. Wa- then she poured candle wax on her snapper, and it looked like a chewed up piece of bubble gum was on well, the that counter. Was, yeah, that, that was yeah, that was fucking weird. It was right Ooh, on the fuck. counter at the door when I was leaving. Yeah, because she gave it to him. She goes, "Here's a mold of my pussy for you to keep it. You could put it in the freezer." He's like, "What the fuck? I'm not putting that in my fucking freezer." Uh, yeah. The is that <laughs> candle wax or government cheese? She was melting. Oh, couldn't remember. It's that's S- still one of the best pictures of all time comes from that party though. Oh yeah, party <laughs> foul. <laughs> Dumping one out for the homies. Mid shot of the picture, there's a guy that's got a beer bottle, like putting his arm around someone's arm or shoulder, and the bottle goes <laughs> sideways and it's pouring right out. And this and dude's right, looking right in another dude's lap, just perfect guy's shot. Guy's looking down right at it, spilling all over his legs. It's fucking hilarious. It's a good shot. Might have been the best camera. <laughs> good camera action shot. shot. Man, we used to do some fucking crazy parties over there, ripping the fucking dirt bikes and the four wheelers. I remember the one time <laughs> we sketchy tried, ass three wheeler. Yeah, that thing was awesome though. You ride wheelies for days. Sketchy. We took uh, two four wheelers. We were gonna do wheelies passing each other and slap hands. <laughs> How'd it go? We uh, we ended up just cl- like you planned it. <laughs> no, not at all. We ended up clipping back tires. And they both went flying in the air, and fucking, we were tossed from them and shit. And Did you get the high five in? No. Damn it, see? No. I might have. I don't even remember. I just remember him being like, holy <laughs> fuck, this is my buddies, and the plastics were just destroyed on it. He ended up, he was fixing it, getting it running for him, and then oh, he had so a bike. so that was a common thing that happened over there. Yes. Your, your, your dirt bike was over there, blowing fucking motor on that one now. Yeah. My fucking dirt bike was beat to shit that three wheeler that we put together was fucking i was in rough shit i remember when i put it into the deck <laughs> were you there that day no <laughs> i'm like riding a wheelie and i for some reason just didn't let off and let it down 
So I tried to like just lean it and try to get it to turn and gave it more throttle and just went right into the fucking deck, flew off. You didn't have, you had a deck, you know what I mean, that didn't have the fence around it. Did you say, I'm going to send it? No. No. <laughs> he wasn't wearing it. It was more like, oh, fuck. Either. <laughs> I'm going to send it. <laughs> Great video. Uh, I'm just going to send it. Send it, bro. Send it. Fucking send it. That's a terrible look. All denim. And Horrible. a mullet. <laughs> and a mullet to boot. And a few. I guarantee that dude gets, gets ready. He's like, I guarantee you works fucking in, good. Works in Let's an oil go. field in Canada. Don't it's crazy know. how much money like Jay Leno has, and he just wears a jean button up and jeans. Wears a Canadian tuxedo. Canadian tuxedo. Yeah, but how many cars does that motherfucker have? Bro, that's fine. He's got a shitload of cars because he doesn't sh- buy any. Well, that's what he said. He's got a joke about it. He's like, yeah, save money on you know. Just spend some money on the cars. Right. Save money on outfits. Right. I mean, I don't know how many clothes normal people are buying that we can't have. Do you think he has like fucking classics? Twenty, or does he have just a closet full of two hundred denim shirts? Yeah. I don't know. I bought like twenty five. I think black it's just V-necks. the same one. And over and he over. Wears it till it just falls apart, <laughs> disintegrates off his body, and then he's yeah. like, "Up, oh, time for another one." That's like one of those uh, mumble rappers. <laughs> You know, they wear those, like, big, baggy white T-shirts. He just throws it out. The white doesn't tea. even wash it. Bang in my white tee. Yeah, because once you get a little bit of a stain or a, a tint to your white tee, you can't wear it no more. I've had the same Dago tees for, like, 25 years. Yeah, yours are disintegrating. <laughs> yeah, they're, like, fucking yours yellow or brown. Yours are legitimately disintegrating. <laughs> There's just holes. Well, it's not official until there's a hole or a stain on it, and then it's, then it's a true Dago tee. Then, yeah. Our Dago T, you mean wife beater? You're not allowed to call it that. Someone said. No, it's 2019. You can't call it a wife beater anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call it a Dago T either. True yeah, that. That's racist too, bro. What are they called? I take offense to that. It's a tank top. Is it though? It's racist to tanks. It's a muscle <laughs> muscle tank. Muscle tank. <laughs> it's racist to people with no muscles. You can't wear them the corner right. Muscle, muscle tank. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, grab me a pack of those corduroy muscle tanks. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was like a thick ass material like corduroy? Stuff? It is. Well, I mean, it, it's it's the type it's of. It's not like a tank top. The tank top's like a t shirt material. Yeah. True. It's, like, it's, it's a muscle shirt. It's like no. made out of long underwear material. No, that would, that's totally different. That's that's warm. It's like cross. So is it. Uh, um, a, d- a, d- a corduroy a, a, tank top. <laughs> is that what we're calling them now? Corduroy it's tank tops. Be. When you walk, does it go <laughs> like corduroy does? We wear corduroy. No, pants? my Adidas track pants do. Yeah, the swish. The swish. <laughs> Your Adidas track pants that you file down with a really fine sandpaper, mm-hmm. so they're almost clear. And you go to the strip club and get lap dances. Friday night specials. Friday. Not special. Leave a little bit of your magic sauce on the no stripper. Way. Dude, it's you make that sound again, I'm going to backhand the shit it's out of you. Jizz. <laughs> Why don't you like my noises? Reminds me of the Predator. I'm just going to cut your mic. If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Do it now. Great movie. See. Those were other ones that were the the second, third, fourth. The one where they were dropped off in the planet is probably Predators. The, Predators was probably the only one I really truly liked. I was so fucking pissed though, because it was called Predators, and then in the preview, it shows Adrian Brody, the main actor, and you know it's got like that three yeah that three yes. light. So one shines on him, and then like 20 of them shine on him. And I right. was like, fuck yeah. This and then I went and saw the movie. It was just one. Yeah. That's a I'm like, what? what? That, that, they that's did. That's a bait and uh, switch in. there. I, was, I felt so. I feel the same. I, I felt so hurt that I was lied to. I felt the same way. I almost walked out right after that part. I'm like, oh, fuck this. I felt the same way about. Uh, Mission Impossible, the first one. The first Mission Impossible, they showed all the good shit in the fucking preview. You go see the movie, you're like, what the 
fuck am I watching? Yeah. <laughs> the filler from the preview. <laughs> yeah, it was f- the previews are what sold it. When he slides down, he, you know, drops about an inch away from the floor and I still don't fully understand that movie either. The first one? No. No one does. No. Yeah, the first one. Does anyone can anyone tell us what <laughs> actually happens in that movie? I've seen it probably 20 times. <laughs> right. Like but there's so was, many deception. Who was the guy that he met when he fucking I, dude, I broke the lobster that. tank with his bubble gum? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who that guy <laughs> is still to this day. Who is he meeting? Was that his handler? Obviously. Handler. Yeah, but then he, I, I don't know, bro. We'll have to do a movie review on that one. Cause oh, do we have to? I think so. Wow. So we, we could finally understand the story. We, we could finally... Walls. Give an opinion. If we watch it together, all three of us, and we still don't know what the fuck happened, we won't. Are you sure? Yeah. No. I have no idea what happens. That that movie was so poorly written. <laughs> so, so poorly I written. I wish I knew. I feel like the three of us could decipher it. But, you know, thing of, speaking of things that were great written, our closing themes, our closing song. <laughs> yeah. It's been an hour. What? Stop it. Time flies when you're... Time flies when you're telling stories about balloons and driving 55 past them. <laughs> Mr. Balloon Hands. My fucking heroes. So, for Frankie, for Jeff, I am Sean. Thanks for coming in and listening to us. We'll be back next week with more tales of debauchery from your pals Woo! at the Gentleman's Den. Bye now.